Hello, and welcome to our online class where we're focusing on keeping your kids healthy during the school year. I'm April Martinez, and I am the natural health practitioner here at Living with Elevation Natural Health Center. And I'm really excited to be able to share some of this information with you so you can make some better choices and healthier habits in your life and your children's lives and keep them healthier during the school year, especially when they're surrounded by all the other little ones that are carrying all those fun germs that they like to share. So I wanna start off right away with the foods that we're eating. A lot of us don't realize that the foods that we're eating can make a direct impact on our immune health. And so I wanna share with you some tips and some ideas of things that you can change in your everyday life to help keep you healthier. So I'm gonna start off with breakfast. A lot of times with our children, we go over and we grab that box of cereal and we pour it in and we add our milk to it. And in reality, we're really not giving the children that nutritious breakfast that their body needs. We really want to stay away from pasteurized milks. We want to stay away from those enriched flours. We want to stay away from the sugar. Because a lot of that can bring our immune system down and actually make us more susceptible to the germs. So some really great ideas that you can do is start bringing in like a smoothie. I mean, if we're in a hurry, a smoothie takes a couple minutes to make got a lot of nutrition, you know, add some superfoods to it so they're getting all those vitamins that they need. Another thing we can do is when we're making eggs, just throw in a handful of vegetables and really just give them those vitamins from the vegetables. Homemade oatmeal, not the stuff you buy at the grocery store, but actual real oats made into oatmeal. Things like that. Um, when we're looking at lunch, a lot of times our children get on the bus, they go to school, they eat the, the school's provided lunch, and sometimes we have a lot of processed foods, we have foods that aren't the best for our children in those meals. They may have a side of fruit or something, but everything else on that, the tray may be something that can help bring their immune system down. So the best way for us to make sure that our children are getting a healthy lunch is by packing it ourselves. It can be very simple. Get you a really nice sourdough, get you a rye bread, things like that. So try to stay away from the, the bread, you know, the whites, the wheats that are made from processed enriched flours, maybe some sprouted breads, um, Ezekiel bread, and then putting some fresh meat on there, not the lunch meat that you get at the store because that can have a lot of chemicals, it can have a lot of sugar. So just some fresh chicken or some fresh beef or things like that. Give them a side of vegetable. Give them a piece of fruit. Have water for your children to drink. Um, also, we're gonna look at dinner. Dinner does not need to be time consuming. Some of you out there are chefs and wanna make these really extravagant dinners and, and that's wonderful. But for some of us, like myself, I like convenience, I like fast foods. So instead of going through that local drive through and picking up fast food, why don't we look at what we can do that's healthy from home? Just make some meat. We want to look at hormone and antibiotic free. If we're looking at our meats, make a side of vegetables, have a salad, things like that. So if you need ideas, like I said, go online, start looking at paleo, clean eating, keto, things like that, because they usually tend to have some really good recipes that are really healthy that can be done very quickly. If you want to really go out and just make that huge five course meal that's taking you time really delicious, do it. I would love it. Please invite me for dinner. <laughs> the next thing that I really want to address is our children's emotions. If they get stressed, it can really work to bring their immune system down and it can have that physical impact on them. One of my favorite ways to keep my children emotionally balanced is sitting down as a family for dinner. You can celebrate their successes and bring their self-esteem up. You can help them if they're struggling and teach them those coping skills on how to deal with the stress that life throws at them and really just work towards keeping them emotionally balanced that's going to make a huge impact on their, their immune health. Another thing I like to look at is a lot of our children are dealing with some gut issues. 
where we've given them some antibiotics at some point or you know done other things that can really bring the good flora down in their bodies to fight off the bad so i do like to look at adding in a really good probiotic for our children now i'm not saying run down to your local retailer and buy the over-the-counter probiotic what i'm saying is really do your research and make sure that what you're getting is a very good probiotic you can find it at a lot of like natural health stores you can find it at a lot of your natural health centers us here we have a couple different varieties of probiotics for children um, and if you have questions with what i'm using feel free to ask and i'll be more than willing to share the brands that i really trust in my clinic Another thing I want to look at is everything is antibacterial killing products. And a lot of times the stuff that we're buying is actually making the problem worse. Yes, it's killing the bad germs, but it's also killing the good bacteria that our bodies need. So I like to look at clean products when we're using for, you know, hand sanitizers, hand washing, even cleaning. If you're on a budget, a great alternative for you is go on Pinterest. Pinterest has a lot of really clean cleaning materials or ideas that you can really make a lot of for very little. I wanna look at lymphatic drainage with our kids. We wanna open up the detox, one of those detox channels in our children. One of the best ways to do it is with movement. I'm not saying that you have to enroll your children into a sport or something like that, but just getting them to move around, getting that lymph to move and start draining out those bad toxins. Another really great way to do that with our children is through massage. You don't have to take them to a massage therapist. You can do it right at home. Rub their arms, rub their legs, rub their backs. Things like that really try to focus on the areas where there's bends, you know, such as armpits, behind the knees, things like that. It's also a great bonding experience for you and your child, and they enjoy it so much. Our next thing that I want to discuss on is essential oils. You can use certain essential oils to help really boost up the immune system. And if you would like some suggestions, feel free to reach out to me and I can give you some suggestions. I can also give you tips on how to use them safely with your children. Next, we're gonna talk about um, having herbal remedies at home. Having them so when your child comes home and you've gotten that note that this weird germ is being spread where you can be proactive as the parent to really try to boost their immune system so it can fight it off as your child is exposed to it at school. I really like Dr. Christopher's products. He has a great line of children's products. One of the ones that I think every home needs that has a child is called Kitty Well. Oops, oh and it's backwards, sorry. I love this, it is great for the cold and flu season. And you can really start it right away when you do get that notice that your, your child has been exposed to something. Or also, if your child is just starting to get a little ill, you can just start working with it. If there's no side effects, it's all natural. That is actually my all-time favorite herbal remedy to have on hand for children. Next, I really want to talk about your children's bowel movements. We need to make sure that they are able to eliminate toxins through their bowels. Have those conversations with your kiddos. Find out if they're going, you know, when having bowel movements regularly. It can be a little uncomfortable for some people, but it's really important to know with your children as to how often they're eliminating. We want them eliminating two to three times a day. And when you really move to that whole food diet where you're just eating the meats, the vegetables, the fruits, the nuts, it'll be no problem for your child to do this. And we're constantly eliminating those toxins and those germs and stuff that are coming into our children's systems. Last but not least, make sure your children are getting plenty of rest. They can't heal if they're not sleeping. I really am against having the TV on in your children's bedrooms and things like that. Cell phones, things that beep, that make noise, that emit light, because that can really disturb their sleep cycle. 
and really keep them from that healing state that we want them to be in it every day. So this is just kind of some ideas for you. If you would like to download my handout, all this information is available on my website at www.livingwithelevation.com under the download section. And if you ever have any questions, please reach out to us as a resource. And we would love to be able to help you with some ideas or some tips on keeping your children and yourself well during that school year. Thank you so much for coming. I hope you enjoy the rest of your day.